Hello everyone. So in this session, let's start doing the virtual simulation. So let's take one small example for uh, you know digital system. Whenever we are turning on a switch, a lamp need to turn on. So this is the simulation we are going to see. So before that, I'm going to draw the outline for our page. So I have taken the polyline here and just start from here. Drag it towards right. Click and drag it towards down. Click, drag it towards left. Click again, drag it towards upside and join over here. Just double tap, it is finished. Fine. And uh, take a text and keep it over here and just type virtual simulation. Fine. If you want to increase the font, size you can go here can you see enlarge fan font font type if you want to change you can go for text font in this you can choose whatever uh, you know uh, model i mean style you want i'm not going to change anything let it be that's it fine if you want to more customize you can choose these options bold italic underline whatever you want fine so right let's start our virtual simulation part so for that i'm going to take one switch let's take a knob kind of switch and keep it over here and let's take one lamp i mean light let me take circular light okay keep it over here fine so whenever you are turning on the switch this light is going to on got it so for this this is the uh, you know two two components we are in need one switch one lamp that is done what is the next step we need to create a tag correct so how to create a tag there are two ways we have seen in the last session right so what i'm going to do means i'm going to use the first way just click on the switch just type sw1 fine I'm just typing SW1 and clicking enter. It is asking me to define it. So click OK and choose memory discrete. Already it is there. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to close it. That's it. So for this I have given SW1. So for this I'm going to create one more new tag like L1. And uh, this, this fill color. Now what is this fill color means whenever we are going for online. What it should be like uh, uh, in zero means what color it should give in uh, green what color it should give like that fine so just go for l1 and click on ok define it this is also memory discrete go for save and go for close so now we have created uh, two tags got it so let's go for runtime and watch. So for runtime what we need to do? We need to click on this. Once you are done with your design, click on this runtime. It will take you to the window viewer page. Okay, this is a window viewer page. So if you see the option over here, it, it is like a development. It will take you to the development page if you click on that. Okay, first let's do the simulation. Now I am going to turn on the switch. But lamp is not showing any changes right color changes is not there if you turn off nothing is happening if it is on nothing is happening fine is it nothing is happening right so just go to the development and see what is the error okay so i'll tell you what is the error here because i have known the thing is whenever we are doing the virtual simulation we need to use the same tag name what is the tag name here i have mentioned sw1 here I have mentioned L1, correct? Where we are creating the connection between these two components. How come our SCADA software knows whenever SW1 is on, turn on L1? Okay, L1 is the tag name of our lamp, right? We have not created any such links. 
so how come a software knows that's what whenever you are going for the run time this is not happening see her lamp is not at all responding because whenever the switch is on the lamp color need to turn on to green color correct but it's not happening because there is no connection between switch and lamp so when it comes to virtual simulation you need to give the same tag name if it is switch 1 if it is sw1 this also sw1 okay so just give sw1 and if you want you can change the color if it is 0 it is red if it is 1 it is green so it is a default one i'm going to go with the default one okay just click okay now go for run time turn on can you see your lamp is on correct because both are sharing the same address now we have created the link turn off it's off color is changing correct so that's it so this is how you need to do the virtual simulation fine so whenever you want to turn on a lamp use you know switch you want to turn on a lamp using the switch you should use the same tag name fine so let's take one more switch type let's take the fixture switch like a toggle switch here keep it over here fine let's take one more lamp let's take a rectangle you know light panel keep it over here fine so now let's give this as l1 l1 we have already created and the same l1 i'm giving here okay fine go for online now turn on this is the off condition okay when you turn on it is showing green color same because these two are sharing the same address these two are sharing the same address fine so this is the way to use the digital components fine turn off this that's it suppose if you are taking one more light let's take a siren kind of keep it here and for this this is the input means you need to give the same tag whatever you have used for this what is the tag we have used for that sw1 correct go for okay run time click this both will be on fine got it this is a simple digital control system fine yeah and one more option is there is that you have noted this enable blink what is this enable blink means whenever we are going for the run time only color is changing right if you want you can give for the blink option also okay just click enable blink and it is asking enable when this is also the tag you need to give okay enable i mean whenever you, when you want blink i'm just give same for same tag you want the blink option okay whether it is slow medium fast this and all is your requirement i'm just giving medium go for okay go for run time yeah can you see the round circle is blinking now this is not blinking because we have not given anything fine and if you want to give label to these two so you can give right yeah just go to development page and if you want label select the text give the label here l1 and this is also l1 now this is switch one right yeah this is l1 this one is l1 just select that drag and keep it to say enlarging yes just copy and paste it keep it here okay 
this is l1 and this is some lamp you can whatever name if you want to give you can give lamp 1 and right click repeat last object lamp 2 fine same repeat last object i'm going to give this as lamp 3 that's it fine got it so in our next session let's see how to create a simple analog control system fine yeah so just practice this in a software i'll meet you in the next session bye